A multitude of Rwandan and international dignitaries attended the 18th anniversary of the Rwandan genocide in the capital Kigali to commemorate the thousands of lives lost in the 1994 massacre. This year's event focused on rebuilding the lives of the victims and developing mechanisms of averting a recurrence of the ethnic violence. Rwanda's Prime Minister, Pierre Damain, the chief guest at the conference, called for unity and reconciliation among the Rwandan people. This conference will also concentrate on post-genocide reconstruction and rehabilitation of victims, assessment of the national and international judicial processes. The 1994 Rwandan genocide saw 800,000 people get killed within a period of three months of brutal ethnic clashes. The scars of the 1994 atrocities have been well preserved in the Kigali Memorial site that we visited. The pictures on these walls provide a grim reminder of the devastation that the Rwandese people went through in the 1994 genocide. And for most of these tourists who come here, there's a deep sense of sympathy for what the Rwandese people went through. Well, I'm very moved by it and horrified at the same time, mostly by the way the colonial regime created this whole thing, the, the divisions in this country, and, um, uh, and it does evoke things for me as a Jew and having, you know, um, uh, part of my history is, is connected to this history in a way. Rwanda's National Commission for the Fight Against Genocide has this year focused on highlighting the testimonies and reflections of genocide victims. Ah. Uh, it was so terrible, it was so terrible about the, the killing the, our friends uh, and also our neighbours and so Although the Rwandan government has set up mechanisms of ensuring that victims like Israel are reintegrated in society, a huge number of them are still haunted by the horrific acts of the violence of 1994. Chris Ochamringa, NTV.